Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hi, everyone. Tom Viola from Pharmacology Declassified with yet another Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. Well, this edition is all about our good friend xylitol. And I must tell you, as a biology and chemistry geek all these years, I've always been fascinated with xylitol and the way it works to produce such amazing effects for us in the oral cavity. You know, when your patients sit down in your chair and they present with things like gingivitis, mild periodontitis, and perhaps some recession and attachment loss from poor oral hygiene over the years, over the course of their lives, you're likely to find exposed root surfaces. Now, exposed root surfaces are formidable surfaces to keep healthy because, especially if the patients are a bit older and maybe they hadn't had the greatest oral hygiene standards throughout their lives, the, the reason is because these dentin surfaces are more prone to decay than enamel surfaces. But why? Well, because they're less likely to have had that thorough appetite production in their previous lives, okay? Uh, you know, our teeth get a constant bath in fluoride over the course of our lives. We uh, use fluoride products, there's fluoride in the water. So the longer a tooth is exposed in the oral environment, like for example, the crowns of the teeth, the more fluoride exposure they've had in their life, okay? And that makes the surfaces, whether they're dentin or enamel, more resistant to acid challenges and therefore decay. Now, roots that become exposed due to aggressive brushing, uh, maybe periodontal issues or poor oral hygiene, or any other reason for that matter, just don't have the benefit of that slow, gradual bath of fluoride over the time, over the course of their life. So very little or no floral appetite is formed on these surfaces. And so the acids that won't affect the rest of the tooth surfaces because they've had that fluoride bath can start to demineralize these recently exposed roots. Thus, it's important for us to reduce the acids in the mouth as much as possible and also to use fluoride containing products. So how to do that exactly? Well, the problem is fluoride hardens the tooth surface but it doesn't affect the bacterial presence in the mouth. We're saying we need to reduce the acid in the mouth, so we really need to reduce the bacterial count in the mouth. Well, xylitol does exactly that. It really has no effect on the teeth, but it can starve out those acid-producing little jerks, and <laughs> those uh, bacteria that produce acid, uh, especially strep mutans. How, though? How does xylitol work exactly? Well, Bacteria love to consume carbohydrates, right? That's what they do. Well, as a sugar alcohol, xylitol is something that bacteria like to consume as well. But the problem is, once they consume it, they can't metabolize xylitol into an acid like they can other carbohydrates and even other sugar substitutes. So xylitol essentially starves them out, okay? And it, those bacteria cannot grow. They can't create acid. And therefore, what? Other bacteria, more helpful bacteria, opportunistically grow in their place, right? And that results in an overall healthier oral microbiome with less acids and uh, therefore root surfaces that are less likely to demineralize. Uh, our good friends at Elevate um, add xylitol to basically everything they've got, okay? And it's because in their minds and in our minds, one more application of xylitol throughout the day can never be a bad thing. And there are a few studies to suggest that combining xylitol and fluoride together uh, work, make them work synergistically uh, and therefore increase the benefit of both. So why not? Uh, products that Elevate uh, Oral Care makes uh, that contain xylitol would be the all-day dry mouth spray that contains 44% xylitol. Wow. Uh, and their prescription toothpaste, Floramax 5000 and Just Right 5000, both of which have xylitol added to 10%. And even Stance, their Stannis fluoride product, also contains 10% xylitol as well. So, my friends, the benefits of xylitol 
along with your simply sensational saliva, go a long way to make sure that those recently exposed root surfaces uh, don't demineralize as quickly as the bacteria in our mouths would like them to. That's another edition of Fast Facts Pharmacology. This is Tom Viola. Be well. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tombiola.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care, creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Floramax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Facts.